Alright, so I tell a lot of jokes on here, and I try to sneak in some light worker content, like 1 out of 20 videos, maybe. I don't know. I don't really have a strategy. Sometimes it comes to me, but as a comedian, when I go back to look at what I was trying... I got interrupted. I was in some really deep stuff. I felt like I had... I was leading up to something. And since I didn't get up to that part on the page, it's going to take me a while to reconnect with what that was. We're in a truly psychic battle, and I want to talk about the future. I'm going to own nothing, and I'm going to be happy. I don't need a car because I can order from DoorDash or get a lift. But I won't be able to do that unless if I have a good social credit score. What do you need to buy a house for? I'm not going to have to worry about buying a house because I'm going to use either Airbnb or ProfessionalPotato.com where you are the product. But Airbnb might suspend me for some reason. I don't know why. I won't be able to control it because your government's not going to be able to help you when you give all of your power to corporations in the form of license agreements, terms and conditions. You know you can't escape your phone contract or your car insurance contract. So we're going to move into a resource-based economy, where these resources are offered to you, you don't own them, and your ability to access these resources are going to be determined by your social credit score. So perhaps you look like you're half asleep and you're scrolling through TikTok. It can use your camera to tell. It has already associated the facial recognition data with thoughts and behaviors and actions and linguistic constructs. So they indirectly tap into your thoughts, so to speak, not literally, through these means. And you will have to be mindful of your own thoughts in the future in order to access resources, in order to survive. So you're half asleep scrolling through TikTok, and it knows it. You know, it knows that. And then on your FYP, it shows you someone, it shows you your crush, and you're like... And then the camera sees that. Comparing that to the, and it, the camera knows what happens. Psychometric data from facial recognition is an indirect way of uh, clairvoyance, and we're in some influencing machine that is actually influencing us. By the way, but we can influence each other too, and we can influence the machine too. But it's also trying to steer how we influence each other and how linguistic constructs hit a certain person at a certain time. Some of us are already very skilled at operating in an all-secrets known environment. And there is so much more I have to say. But anyway, uh, anybody who's watching this is going to be fine. I mean, you people are already, like, on your...